tucked away in the coziest cave, deep in the heart of the hidden forest. The sleepy bear family sleeps tonight. And if you go down to the woods tonight, you'll definitely be in for a sleepy, lovely dreamtime surprise. Because playful, daring Billy the Bear is right now inviting you for the most marvelous, super exciting, and extra relaxing fun night of sleep time adventures. So now, as you close your eyes and let your imagination start to run free, all sorts of wonderful and delightful ideas may soon come into your mind. Because in your dream adventures, you know that anything is possible, and especially here, in the safest and happiest hidden woodlands, with this beautiful magic of silver moonlight dancing through the fresh forest air. And with your heavier, sleepier eyes still gently closed, you may imagine yourself floating and drifting between the tallest green trees of this miraculous, joyful place where all of the animals live so happily. And just maybe, you may already know some of the many different, friendly creatures who call this beautiful natural forest their home. And as you begin to look around, just within your imagination, you can see there's a silvery starlight shimmering down through the branches. And there's a wonderful moonshine glowing across the lands. And everything you see is bathed in this silvery shine of magical light, making you feel so very loved, so safe and, well, maybe quite excited for this extra special adventure. As you feel your bare feet and your twinkly toes touching down on the soft, soft grass of this forest floor. You feel very grounded and very connected to the earth here, like you are really being welcomed to arrive into this warm and wondrous place. And suddenly you feel yourself being wrapped up in a bear hug. You feel soft and fluffy fur pressing all around you. In the warmest and coziest cuddle from some unseen and happy friend behind you. Well, this is a big surprise. And now you hear a giggle a funny kind of kid's laugh of what could only be a most mischievous bear cub. And you twist around now and see a chubby bear face smiling at you with mischievous delight. And this cheekiest, sneakiest creature holds out a fluffy paw and he introduces himself as your new friend, Billy the Bear. You see Billy's furry brown face is beaming with his bright and shiny eyes. 
His black snouty nose looked so soft, and his happiest mouth smiles so big. And all of his funny bear features look so very friendly and full of bright berry fun. And you can't help but laugh as you find yourself shaking paws with Billy the Bear. And you decide to tell Billy your name too and that you're very delighted to meet him in this forest and oh so excited to explore the woods around here so much more. And so Billy, who you already guess, can at times be quite a silly bear, leads you through the trees in the most winding ways possible. Past exotic plants and rare red spotted mushrooms. And as you follow along, you begin to wonder where this cheekiest, sneakiest bear cub likes to play. Because although Billy is a sleepy bear, who just loves to hibernate and sometimes just lays about, you know he also loves to roam freely across the lands, whilst Papa Bear and Mama Bear think he's all snuggled in to dream the night away. And that sounds very familiar. And this really does all feel like a waking dream now as you and Billy wander through the woods in the moonshine, following the smells and scents of fresh wildflowers. And the sound of flowing water that you can hear is getting closer and closer. And you see Billy turns to you and winks as he swipes his paw claw and catches a buzzing firefly nearby. Holding it up now to light the way ahead. And you both admire this glowing little insect because it looks just like it is from a magical realm as you see it buzzes about calmly and shines out peacefully its lovely light between Billy's careful paws. Because even though Billy can be a funny and silly bear, he's often just pretending for fun and he really is very clever and quick-witted and deep, deep down, he's very kind to creatures smaller than himself. And do you think that's an admirable quality to have? And now Billy catches a second firefly too, for you to hold on to. And you carefully cup it up in your hands as you feel its gentle humming buzzing little wings against your fingers which tickle your hands a little but you're mostly marveling at its enchanting natural light twinkling through the forest pathways ahead And now you and your bear friend decide to set the fireflies free 
as you spread your arms and send them out flying into the fresh night air to cast their beautiful lights elsewhere. And you feel a furry nudge and a playful tap of a fluffy bear arm on your shoulders as Billy lets you know he is ready for his next little trick. Because you can soon see where the sound of water was coming from. You spot now a shallow stream of the clearest water you have ever seen. Flowing below, down a hill slope from where you are now standing at the very edge of the forest. And with a glint of mischief in his shiny eyes, Billy suddenly shows you the quickest way to get down to the water's edge. You see he tucks his head in, turns his cubby body into a fluffy ball, and suddenly rolls down the hill. Tumbling and bumbling in a roly-poly way, faster and faster down the smooth green grass, you watch him tumble. And so, with a deeper breath too, you now do the same. You tuck in your head, make yourself into a tight little ball, and now you dive forwards, rolling downhill, tumbling and turning and swishing and swirling over the wonderfully soft grass. It's so much fun. And all that can be heard across the night and around the forest now is the bubbling sounds of you and Billy laughing as you both let out such glorious giggles. Until you suddenly land again in a bumbling heap at the very bottom and foot of the hill. And as you catch your breath from all the laughter, Billy quickly teaches you to catch something else. Salmon. Because you see happy, splashy salmon fish jumping and wiggling and gliding their ways through the clear stream. So you watch in awe as this confident bear wades into the shallow water, flowing just above his fluffy bare feet. You see he is standing perfectly still, watching the water glitter and shimmer in the open moonlight, bubbling along in a soothing and relaxing flow. In fact, these calming, relaxing sounds are really making you quite sleepy. It's a little hard to keep your eyes on Billy when you are feeling so dreamy. And yet, you see Billy now pounces, plunging his fast bear paws into the water. You see he moves so quickly in a fast-moving blur. And then he produces a flappy, happy salmon in his open, furry claws. But you know these fish are not for eating. They're just for playing. And the squirming fish shakes and wriggles quickly out of Billy's grip until it splashes happily back into the calming, tranquil stream.
And so you now decide you'd like to try catching salmon too. As you walk into the water's crisp and clear, bubbling currents. And you feel the lovely, relaxing froth around your ankles. And it's making you feel so clean and clear. And so healthy inside because the water is a bit warmer in some places and yet cool with the currents of icy freshness in others as it flows along. And the more you practice now, the better you seem to get, looking and aiming and grabbing into the stream at the slippery salmon fish. Sometimes you catch one, and sometimes not. But the best part is the laughter and surprises you and Billy have. Because deep, deep down, you're really learning to believe that you can do anything. You really are so capable, and the world is yours to explore. Since all of Billy's bear cub confidence is rubbing off on you, and you can't help but feel really, really good about yourself. Feeling so good even exactly as you are. And when you look over very soon, you see mischievous Billy the bear seems to be becoming a very sleepy bear. He seems to be growing very, very tired now too. So Billy tells you there's one more thing he really wishes to show you right before it's time for super relaxing, snoozy dreams in the cozy bear cave. And even though you are so tired too, you immediately feel even more curious to find out what this might be. So now together, you and Billy race and run across the tufty grasses, between the smiling happy trees, around the leafy bushes, laughing and racing through the cool night air, under the sparkling stars above. Until after some time, you now finally arrive to see a very special tree. Maybe the same tree you feel you might just have seen somewhere before now. Perhaps sometime in another adventurous nighttime dream. And you know, this is the tallest oak tree in the whole entire forest. An old, wise, magnificent oak tree that looks out across all of the sleeping woodlands below. And this biggest, strongest, most majestic tree is home to many creatures of this enchanting, hidden forest. And suddenly, there at the bottom of the tree's base, you see a fluffy foxtail disappear into an entrance below the tree's roots. 
Maybe there is a cosy fox's burrow leading down there, all the way underneath the tree. Maybe into a sleepy, cosy labyrinth below. But here in this adventure, right now, you are instead more interested in climbing the tree with Billy. And the anticipation of that makes your heart feel so warm with joy. Now young Billy is a keen climber, since he's still quite light for a young bear, and he grips so well with his claws and his paws, and his fast furry legs. And so you ask him to teach you how to climb, just like a bear. Now Billy shows you how to really hold the tree with your feet and your hands. How to find the little hollows and footholds where branches used to be. And as you both begin to move higher and higher, you're also feeling lighter and lighter. So light that you easily zip past old branches and climb quickly up this thick, strong tree trunk. And all the while you're following Billy the Bear, seeing his fluffy body darting up and hearing his little bear cub panting as he catches his breath in the warm breeze. And you're moving on past an owl's nest now, which looks feathered and warm. As cute little owl faces stare at you with their big wise eyes. And you smile back too at these familiar looking faces as they hoot to you happily. And very, very soon, you're now at the very top of this tallest tree, where you see Billy looks back to you and he gives you one of his funny twinkling winks once more. before he parts the branches ahead of you both, proudly to reveal the most amazing surprise. You see there's a breathtaking sight before your eyes from this great height. You can see rocky mountains in the far distance, dusted with fresh white snow. And above these snow-capped peaks is a magnificent light display in the sky. You see streaks and ribbons of gorgeous green and brilliant blue and perfect purple lights shining in the air. Moving and flashing and putting on a marvellous natural light show. And Billy, being a very clever bear, tells you these are the northern lights, known as Aurora Borealis, the beautiful light show of the north. And you find you are absolutely spellbound to see these lights because they are the most beautiful natural glows you have ever seen in your life. And these magical lights decorate the starry night sky 
in so many amazing colours, as if dancing in the darkness. The swirling rainbow-coloured lights seem to be putting on an extra radiant, extra dazzling, and extra brilliant show just for you and your happy bear cub friend. Now Billy grins a happy bear smile as he looks up at the sky, so happy to have impressed you with this most special surprise. And you realise Billy is a share bear who loves to enjoy his most favourite of all places with his dearest family and his dearest friends. You know, that is you. And so, with a big bear yawn, you and Billy know it's high time for you both to get back to bed now. So with one final look at the sublimely beautiful Northern Auroras, you make a very special wish in your heart. And with a little sparkle of starlight, you send your special wish out over the hidden forest for the glorious northern lights to bring your wish to life at some brilliant and surprising moment in the near future. As Billy begins to lead you down and down the enchanted oak tree once again. You arrive at the base of this strong, wise tree and make your way through the other happy trees and over some hills. Until Billy welcomes you into his very own hidden bear cave in the forested hillside. And because you are now officially a friend of the bears, a clever and honourable grizzly, now fit and worthy to enter the bear cave, after your many bear adventures, you feel so confident to follow Billy into the darkness of this mysterious lair, which he knows so well. And now you're entering Billy's hidden bear home as you tiptoe along the smooth stone floors, following along the rocky walls. You're feeling comfortable and sleepy to be welcomed as you follow the most relaxing sounds of many sleepy bears, all snoozing as they sleep and slumber so well. As the cave opens out into a perfect circle, you find the coziest of all sleeping spots for Billy's furry family. And you see everyone is sleeping soundly here. There's Mama Bear, Papa Bear, and all of Billy's happy bear cub brothers and sisters, slumbering and snoozing. 
Each fluffy, happy bear is resting so deeply and so calmly as they enjoy their most peaceful, soothing dreams. And Billy helps to find you the warmest and snuggliest of all places. A spot right next to Mama Bear. Her gentle grizzly snoozing, you realize, is the most comforting sound. And you lie down now and snuggle up to her softest fluffy warmth, knowing that she will keep you safe always. Protecting you so perfectly here in this wonderful bear cave where you can sleep the whole night away amongst these fluffy furry friends around you. Because you've become a sleepy bear friend forevermore. And so you drift off and away, so deeply into your most marvellous dreams now, sleeping so deeply as you hear the sleepiest bears breathing and dreaming with their grisly snoozing. And finally here, with pure joy in your heart, you feel so relaxed, so happy, and so loved as you dream the night away, being the sleepy bear which you are and feeling so good in this cozy bear cave of dreams. Are you ready to be spellbound by a brilliant, relaxing and sleepy adventure? Because that's exactly what's in store for you tonight. As you keep listening along, relaxing more and more. As you settle into this dragon's tale of dreamy and happy enchantment. Because with your eyes tightly shut, or even just gently closed if you prefer, your imagination will very soon begin to go in the most glorious directions, bringing you all sorts of magical, joyful, dreamtime fun. Because the secret to this tale is that there is already one very curious creature a most magnificent dragon friend who is wishing to lead you on a marvellous journey of the most wonderful story magic 
and the most mysterious, fantastic of all sleep time adventures. So now as you make yourself very cosy and start to breathe a little deeper, make sure you're taking in deeper and slower breaths, just like a dragon. Because the more you relax and continue to breathe so deeply, in this dragon's way, there might be a brilliant picture just starting to form in your mind and imagination. A picture there of an abandoned castle, perhaps, and one made entirely of stone with pointy towers and turrets reaching up into the misty clouds above. And with your mind's eye and brilliant imagination, you may start to see so clearly this amazing castle, which sits atop a rocky mountain dusted with white snow somewhere in the wilderness of fantasy lands. And you might even notice some fresh mountain flowers sprouting through the snow, signalling that long dreary winter is ending, and the first bursts of vibrant, happy, fragrant springtime have already begun. And you may imagine floating all the way now, right into this scene. With lightly sparkling snowflakes still gently falling all around you. And this freshest of mountain air is so revitalizing to you as you breathe in deeply and just float along. Feeling so happy and so quietly excited as to what you will soon discover in this enchanting old castle. And as you float down and down now, down along with the soft breeze, every part of you feels so much more relaxed so safe and so completely loved here in this magical world. Until very soon, while you're still floating your way down through the lovely sky, you float suddenly to land on a surface of scales which might just be some sort of big, scaly, flying carpet. And as you look around and down to your feet, you realise quickly you are actually sitting right now on the back of a tremendous creature. And you rub your eyes now, thinking you must definitely be dreaming because you know this incredible animal before your eyes is meant to be mythical, or at least surely extinct, so many moons ago. But amazingly, you can't help but admire these very real flying wings you can see, these incredibly colourful shiny scales, these super strong looking claw clutches, and this extremely proud and snouty face of a mighty dragon. Because now you're swooping through the breeze so safely on the sturdy back of your most surprising new friend. 
and you feel this huge dragon's body rumbling as he soon starts to speak with a deep and booming voice one would expect from such a massive, mighty creature. And surprisingly, with such impeccable manners, in a most polite fashion, this dragon introduces himself as Danilo Dracono Dipsilius III, last of the mountain dragons. But he really likes to be known as Dan. Dan the Dragon. And you feel there really must be a tingle of dragon magic at play here, in this freshest air. Because now you see a girl, drifting through the air too. And she looks to be also on a happy dream adventure, just like you. And suddenly, Dan the Mountain Dragon now swoops to one side, and he quickly flies all the way underneath the girl, deftly supporting her too, on his strong and scaly dragon back. And you see this new girl beside you has glowing brown skin, dark curly hair, and lovely eyes with such long lashes. You smile to each other and laugh with shared astonishment at how amazing this magical journey is right now to be flying on a dragon you both can barely believe it. Now this friendly girl tells you her name is Daisy. And you introduce yourself also. As you both hold on very tight to the surprisingly luscious locks of Dan the Dragon's long hair like a horse's mane which flows across the colourful, shiny scales of his back. And this sensation of flying is truly spectacular. It feels so light to be soaring through the air, with the wind rushing through your hair, making you feel so weightless and free. This is every bit as brilliant as you'd always imagined it to be. And you can see that Daisy thinks the same as you, when together you both laugh and smile with pure joy. Because flying on a dragon's back is so incredibly fun. You think this might even be one of your most favourite things ever to do. And because Dan the Dragon really does know how to show you this wonderful, astonishing world, he circles you about through the skies, giving you a breathtaking view of the misty mountains below. And now Dan glides down towards that very same abandoned castle. Swooping downwards and down into the castle grounds. Flying over the winding moat. Over the drawbridge. And now all the way inside the stony courtyard. And to your surprise, Dan doesn't take you exploring upwards to see the turrets and towers. Instead, he takes you and Daisy both through a hidden, rocky cave entrance in the secret side of the castle's hill. 
And you see this secret cave entrance has a wooden sign hammered into the rock with a picture of a dragon. A dragon with beautiful long hair who does look very familiar. Now this secret cave is very mysterious being lit with golden lanterns and flaming torchlight making you and Daisy feel very curious as you explore. Yet you do feel so safe with your huge dragon friend Dan carrying you on his scaly back as he glides and then walks through this winding cave with ease. He definitely knows his way around. Soon you ask Dan if he is very fierce and if he really can breathe fire. And Dan tells you in his polite dragon's voice, he used to breathe fire all day long. Though these days he has mellowed out with his age and experience. True strength, Dan tells you, lies in being much calmer. And there is good, amazing power to be had in being positive and looking for what is good. And you feel very happy to hear Dan speak as he shares his ancient dragon wisdom, giving you some very good advice which resonates in your soul. Now Dan begins to lead you further and further into this magnificent cave, carved into the mountain rock, so deep into the earth. And you hear beside you, Daisy asks Dan if he really is the last of the mountain dragons. And he says in his deep and booming voice that yes, he is. Aside from the moon dragons and the ice dragons and the water dragons, he is the last of his kind. But being the last isn't so bad, since this has taught him to be quite an individual, to realise that it's so important to be yourself, accepting yourself as you are, no matter what comes. And Dan tells you and Daisy both that you are also more than enough exactly as you are. Since comparing yourself to others is really just a waste of time and precious energy. All creatures, you probably already know, are quite different. And all people, you've probably already seen, can also be quite different. And this is exactly what makes our world a fantastic, interesting and exciting place. And now even as you think a little about that, you see a gorgeous dragonfly beaming out with an electric radiant blue colour and it buzzes over to you. Dan laughs out loud as he tells you this is his pet dragonfly, Flick. And you see Flick flies and buzzes around Dan's head so happily until Flick suddenly lands on his dragon nose. And with huge crossed eyes, you see Dan points out how very different he is to Flick. 
even though they're actually both a type of flying dragon creature. You and Daisy look to each other as you laugh and understand, and you smile and nod to each other. You really hadn't expected such wise words from your new dragon friend. Even as you see, Flick does a happy little hop up and down on Dan's enormous nose. As Dan looks on with crossed, funny eyes. And as you all walk on through this great and stony chasm, you see the secret dragon's cave opens out and into a huge and high space. Big enough now for a great dragon to just curl up into a huge ball and to hibernate whenever he'd choose with plenty of room and space to display all of his beautiful treasures from all over the earth. Now you might remember, dragons are known for their vanity, for their love of beautiful things, including themselves and how they look. And you see that Dragon Dan has such luscious long locks, beautiful curls of lovely hair, which feel so soft to touch in your hands, as you hold onto his back, just riding along. And suddenly Daisy whispers to you as she gives you a little giggle, she tells you she loves to be creative and she thinks it would be super fun to put Dan's dragon hair into a giant braid. Although it's pretty obvious this is definitely not a dragon's usual style. So you both jump down to the ground as you feel the warm stony floor underneath your feet. And you see Dan's huge dragon face grows very grumpy. But it's funny to see him look a little gloomy and impatient as Daisy begins to show you how to braid his long dragon hair. And even with his big nostrils, his scary teeth, his scaly skin and his boyish, beastly features, you and Daisy laugh out loud together as your grumpy, gloomy dragon friend becomes very pretty. Even Flick the dragonfly buzzes about appearing to have a very good giggle too. But underneath his scowling demeanour, Dan quickly shows you he really is a good sport, and soon his face changes again. He's even happier to hear the laughter around him, and he beams a huge and genuine dragon smile because Dan likes people to feel good in his company and to just be so happy more than anything else. And now the fun really begins because Dan gives you full permission to go exploring through the winding cave. And you can even go through his impressive piles of dragon treasure. And to keep you always feeling so safe, Dan gives you both a magical huff and an enchanted puff as he casts a mystical fog of dragon's protection all around you, just like a shield. 
And now as you look out and see through this misty, foggy cloud, you see a beautiful sparkling light shining all around you and Daisy. Because Dan is using his dragon magic for your perfect wellness with his goodness and kindness. So as you begin to explore and walk around, even apart from the glorious, shining gold piles and the colourful, glistening gemstones, you discover some even more interesting treasures to play with. You find an old-fashioned kaleidoscope a rare bronze compass and a pirate's spyglass to pick up and use around the cave as you leap about having so much fun. And Daisy also finds a yellowed ancient treasure map of some tropical islands on the other side of the earth where Dan flew once upon a time, and he found some buried treasure there, most of which now sits before you in a big, bountiful pile of silver right before your eyes. And there are fun board games such as chess and checkers, all of them carved beautifully from wood. Maybe even once owned by ancient kings and powerful queens. And you admire the biggest crystals you have ever seen. Which shine and sparkle with the most delightful energy. And Flick the Dragonfly leads you and Daisy on to soon find a gorgeous little cave with a blue pool of pure water. A pool made from fresh snow that melts down and drips into this high vibrational, crystal charged water. So you enjoy dipping your hands in to take a sip. And the icy freshness makes you feel very happy and healthy. Like you are glowing with pure health inside. And now you have total freedom to relax as you explore even the castle towers up above. Where you see the lovely rocky mountains beyond. Or you can even go flying with Dan once again. Flying all the way out over the wilderness of these gorgeous far away lands. Because as you relax and begin to dream, feeling sleepier and sleepier, you know that you really can discover whatever your heart desires right here in your wonderful, happy dreams. For Danilo Dracono Dipsilius III and Flick, his trusty pet dragonfly, are always wishing and wanting to help you have the most marvellous time as you sleep, just exploring and having such fun. Feeling so safe and loved because kind-hearted Dan, last of the mountain dragons, reminds you and Daisy 
even as you sleep and dream, that your unique talents and your great abilities, your interests and your hobbies, really are important. And the things you enjoy are wonderful. And your potential is limitless because you really can do anything and be anything that you choose. And so right now, you have some amazing time to just continue to explore this happy, beautiful world to your heart's content. And when my voice soon returns to you, it will only relax you more and more. And it will be time for your coziest night's rest and your perfect, happiest sleep. So now, after an incredible journey of exploring with fun, you are now feeling so very tired and sleepy. So very soon, you and Daisy find your comfy places to curl up on some soft and warm woolen blankets becoming just like little hibernating dragons yourselves. As you settle in now for your wonderful, happy night's rest. And you see Dan the dragon is resting now too. Settled down and lying on his big belly resting his giant head on his claws as he lets out a whiff of steamy snoring. With his little pet dragonfly, Flick, sleeping cosily on his warm and soft nose. And all about you now, you hear this castle cave is so calm and so quiet. Tucked far, far away from the outside world. And the only thing you can hear as you continue on your way into deep, deep sleep amidst the calm and quiet harmony is the soft sound of Dan's constant snouty dragon snoozing and his gentle rumbling that echoes softly all throughout this long dragon cave. And this is so comforting to you, to have this huge and brilliant beast, last of the mountain dragons, as your mighty protective friend here. And you and Daisy both feel so loved, 
so protected and so special to sleep so well in this wonderful dreamtime adventure with peaceful and calm dreams of dragon magic and fun. So as you sleep so deeply now, feeling completely comfortable and so deeply relaxed, you can begin to dream more and more as you enjoy your soothing, deep and happy sleep with only the peace of your sweetest, coziest dragon dreams. Now in a moment, as you're listening in, we're going to try something super fun. Because very soon, I'm going to count backwards from three down to one. And when I reach that number one, you can just close your eyes at the same time. And you can start to see and imagine yourself when you were getting a Cocker Spaniel puppy dog. One of the cutest and most loyal puppies in the whole entire world. Because this little puppy dog you'll imagine is so extra special. Because he is a rescue puppy who needs his own loving home. And you know you and your family are the ones who are so very, very happy to adopt him as your own puppy. So now just begin to close those eyes as I count back. Three, two, one. And now you're making sure those eyes are totally closed and you're feeling so good and so relaxed. So relaxed that you can really imagine what it's like to be with this new puppy. And you know already this cute little canine's name is Parker Paws. And he is one sleepy, cheeky puppy. Because you have started to notice that his most favourite thing to do during the day is to curl up on your lap and take a snoozy, happy, long nap. And with your eyes still gently closed, you can see a brighter picture in your mind's eye of your adorable new happy sleepy puppy. Because however you imagine Parker Paws to be, you see he is absolutely perfect in every puppy way.
and I wonder if you can imagine and feel how warm and fluffy Parker Paws is. As you reach out to pat his smooth coat. And you look at the glossy colours of his silky brown fur. Where you see he may even have some creamy spots. And some round patches on his soft coat. Can you feel how roly-poly and how relaxed he is as you pick your little puppy up and snuggle him in your arms? Or could you hear his sweet little bark like a happy yelp when he is so excited to see you after you return to him even after just going outside. And just look at how floppy Parker's ears are, and how they look droopy and sway in that cute, cocker spaniel way. As you imagine being with your puppy, Just take a deep breath in through your nose and a long breath out. And relax your belly as you breathe deeply in and out. Can you feel how relaxing this is to simply breathe? That's wonderful. You're doing this meditation brilliantly. And you may realize you feel so calm as you think of Parker Paws, your special puppy dog because he truly is such a precious little animal, so happy and cuddly and loyal to you. Because in his little puppy dog heart, already you feel he loves you as his family. And although Parker Paws is very cute, and very happy, you sense that there's something even more to him than meets the eye. Because when he looks at you with those big puppy dog eyes, you just know he wants to adventure somewhere and play in the garden. Because tonight, your special puppy, Parker Paws, is staring at you so fondly and looking extra adorable. And you sense very deeply he wants to show you something special. And so right now, you notice you're following him outside and onto the grass. And you see Parker's tail is wagging so fast. You can tell he is delighted you have joined him out here. And to your delight, you see it's a full moon tonight. With the shining silvery light of the marvellous moon. Making all of the garden glow with a beautiful sparkle of enchantment. And you're beginning to understand why Parker Paws is so sleepy during the day and why he loves his daytime naps so much. Because you're discovering right now this cheeky little puppy loves to go on his nighttime adventures where he can be full of mischief and even more fun. And so you laugh at your clever little puppy 
who looks so innocent and so sweet by day, and who is also very sneaky and adventurous as he plays the whole night away. And you feel yourself throwing sticks for Parker Paws to catch in his teeth. But the second or third stick you throw land somewhere far behind the gooseberry bush, somewhere further into your back garden than you have ever been before, right there towards the big brick fence leading behind and into old Mrs. Snoozington's old garden. Now Parker runs after that stick and you see, he soon disappears. How strange. Is he hiding back there, you wonder to yourself? After a few moments when Parker doesn't return. And so very soon, you decide to crawl underneath the gooseberry bush and have a look around. But there's no Parker the puppy anywhere here to be seen. But suddenly now, you see a strange round hole in the earth, like an open sort of burrow right there in the ground. How mysterious. And now you hear a little yelp, and you hear some sniffing and scratching just ahead of you, as you suddenly realise it's Parker Paws, who has been digging this burrow. What a cheeky little puppy. And so as you shake your head in amazement, you too start to shuffle down into the burrow. As you move down through this fresh, damp earth, rather impressed with all of this puppy's tiring activities of so much digging. Because now you're shuffling and wriggling through to see where the end of this long burrow leads. until you find yourself exactly underneath the old brick fence and all of the way into old Mrs. Snoozington's back garden. But she likely won't notice we're here, you think to yourself, because your next door neighbour is always snoozing and dozing. Now you find Parker Paws is waiting for you, just waiting and smiling his puppy smile, panting and wagging his tail and looking rather proud of himself and all of his efforts. Well, curiously, You know you have always wondered about old Mrs. Snoozington's mysterious garden, because it looks so ancient. It looks just like it hasn't been touched for over 50 years. What kinds of mysteries or wonderful forgotten things could be found here amidst all of the overgrown bushes and ferns? So together, very happily, you and Parker Paws set out to look around and to discover what lies inside this old-fashioned, hidden land. As beautiful starlight 
and a gorgeous moonshine make everything glow like pure magic. And first you notice some red spotted mushrooms, which look quite enchanted, because you see they are big enough to stand on and bounce on like fun trampolines. And so you do climb up onto one giant mushroom, as you find yourself jumping and having a ton of bouncing fun. And you laugh as you see Parker grinning widely, as he springs up and down too, on another huge mushroom. His puppy dog ears flying about and bouncing along in the warm breeze. And next you discover an overgrown, old greenhouse for keeping many exotic plants, like foreign orchids and desert cacti. However, just now, as you feel yourself creeping inside, keeping low on your hands and knees, to remain hidden. You see these curious plants have grown so big, they look just like prehistoric plants from dinosaur times. Wow! These strange plants have enormous bulbs and super long stems and their stalks are absolutely huge. Life certainly finds a way. And very soon now, you start exploring an old tree house, found deeper in the yard. A special cubby house made of old woods and covered in leaves. As you climb up the branches so easily and you swing yourself inside, you realise you love feeling so free. And you find this amazing tree house is as good as new. And somehow even more fun too, with all of its exciting history and mystery. How many other explorers have had their fun just like this? And right here, in this old tree house. And so together, you and Parker walk and run and frolic and explore around this secret garden to your heart's content. As you spot some other lovely and happy nighttime creatures coming out to play. Playing in the calming moonshine and the tranquil glow of the stars beaming down from above. You see wise owls perched high up 
in their tall tree, peering down at you with their excellent night vision and keeping watch too over the sleeping, calming world below. And you watch Mrs. Snoozington's fluffy tabby cat slinking along the top of the brick fence, thinking no one can see her. Her movements are so agile. And Parker points his paw to show you some moon snails shining in the moonlight, carrying their little homes on their little backs, like little shell-shaped caravans as they slink along in a glowing, happy row. And you watch how Parker is so kind to all of the other animals. How he leaves them alone and simply observes them from a distance. because he seems to love nature and is so curious and happy to see all of the other creatures going about their moonlit lives. And it feels so wonderful and so good to be around Parker Paws, because you know and sense he is your most loyal little friend. The one who is always here by your side. Because he loves you exactly as you are, all the time, no matter what. And you love him back, too. And there is so much more fun to be had, because this is the best bedtimes adventure ever. As you race and play through the lush leaves, You feel them swirl up around you in the breeze. Until, as you're chasing the leaves, you suddenly find an ancient stone wishing well. And you see there is a pool of glimmering water at the bottom of this well. Seeing the flat water reflecting the bright light of the moon and the stars. It is so beautiful and feels magical. Here in these moonlight dreams, you decide you'd love to make a very special bedtime's wish of your own. And so you reach down and pick up a smooth pebble from the ground. A round and smooth wishing stone that seems to gleam in the soft moonlight. as you begin to think of a dream and a wish close to your heart.
And as this marvelous old-fashioned well reflects all of the magic and the beauty of the cosmic starlight above, you drop your stone into the wishing well and make your wish that you really hope and you really dream very soon comes true. Now you watch in wonder as the stone drops into the water and makes little pools and concentric circles all around. Seeing those little circles flow outwards like little ripples of pure magic in the moonlight. And you may even see your very own wish soon coming true there. Clearly and brightly coming to life in the shining reflection of the water. Just like a starry movie playing out before your sleepier, resting eyes. And now you spot Parker Paws before you, who appears with his own stone in his mouth, looking so very happy and hopeful. And so you take Parker's stone and make a special wish for your best friend, Parker Paws, too. And right now, you feel so safe and so happy with Parker, your loyal puppy friend, as you watch him begin to yawn and yawn. And you see Parker blinks his lovely puppy dog eyes, looking and feeling so very tired. And after all of this amazing super nighttime fun, you are also starting to feel so sleepy and so tired. Because sleep is now calling you to just rest and relax. And you begin to feel it is most definitely time for your warm and cosy bed. And to relax as you enjoy your happiest dreams. And so together, you and Parker burrow all the way back underneath the fence. leaving old Mrs. Snoozington's garden behind. As you crawl back under the gooseberry bush and walk now across the dewy green grass and all the way back indoors just back to your home. And just before you completely relax into your dreams, you pat Parker goodnight as he curls up on his doggy bed. And you see he rests his sleepy little head down 
on his sleepy fluffy paws until you watch as he very quickly falls asleep. And so now, you too, are moving into your sleep, and into your own human-sized bed. Feeling so ready to sleep the whole night away, and feeling so good. Because as you fall asleep, deeper and deeper, all this time you're feeling so happy and so warm inside your heart. Because you know there is so much fun to be had again with your sneakiest, sleepiest puppy dog friend. Parker paws. Whenever you choose, as easily as listening along to this bedtime sleepy adventure, some other happy times. And yet for now, as you drift away, into your happiest, safest dreams. You imagine that you can continue on so many dreamy adventures as easily as you wish. As you just fall asleep so fast, Because every night, you feel so calm and so good. So now, as you relax even more and more, and as you sleep deeper and deeper, sleeping so deeply here. Before you know it, you are dreaming the long, soothing night away. Enjoying the most wonderful, peaceful puppy fun you can possibly imagine. Sweet puppy dog dreams. Have you ever heard that counting sheep is the most wonderful way to feel yourself falling so fast asleep? Well, tonight you'll be enjoying a magical, relaxing journey to see what sheepish mischief and frolicking fun the sleepy sheep get up to 
when the moon is so high in the sky. And very soon, you will be falling asleep so very easily, moving into your happiest bedtime bliss, as you simply count backwards into your happiest of all most enchanting, soothing dreams. Because, as you can imagine, Far away in the open green countryside, old farmer Yawnsworth has a big and beautiful peaceful farm for his fluffy flock of happy loyal sheep. And next to this sleepy farm is the magical hidden forest where a woodland of foxes and bears and owls and all lovely enchantments reside, which you may already know something about. But really, it is Yawnsworth Farm at the edge of this happy forest, where this particular meditation story is right now taking place. And if you can close your eyes very soon and just snuggle under those covers, you can let your imagination run free to imagine the most perfect farm of peace where the happiest, fluffiest, cheekiest, sneakiest sheep just love to fall into sleep. Because even though your eyes are gently closed, you may easily see and imagine with your mind's eye Farmer Yawnsworth's farm. With the green rolling hills, the freshest, dewiest grass, the wooden fences to keep his flock safe and secure, and the big barn for sleeping sheep, just beyond the cosy farmhouse, with white smoke curling out from the chimney and into the fresh night air sky. Now you know, old farmer Yawnsworth cares very deeply for his flock, making sure those fluffy sheep graze only on the healthiest grass, tending to their soft curly coats, and laying the cosy barn out with fresh hay for their most comfortable night's rest. And after his long days of hard work, when he takes his gumboots off and feels those toes all relax, Farmer Yawnsworth soon lies down and makes himself so comfortable as he falls asleep even as soon as his head hits the pillow. And it is at precisely this moment when the fluffy sheep can hear him starting to snooze and to snore that some of his more mischievous flock decide to have their little adventure. And these super fun nighttime capers are led by Shelby the sheep the fluffiest of all the sheep, along with her extra fluffy sheep companions, Shane and Shiloh. Because whilst Shelby, Shane and Shiloh the sheep are a little bit cheeky and a little sneaky, deep in their hearts, 
They simply love to have so much fun. And it's really amazing because all three of these fluffiest farmyard animals are right now inviting you to join them for lots of frolicking adventures that always feel so good. And you can easily imagine right now simply floating through this fresh night air. Seeing so clearly in the enchanting silver moonlight. And drifting downwards to land so very gently on the soft dewy green grass of Yornsworth Farm. And this meadow grass is extra soft and so soothing under your bare feet. You're feeling yourself connecting to the warm earth here. As though you were always meant to be in this place at this time. And all of a sudden, you're noticing Shelby, Shiloh and Shane nudging and nuzzling into you with their fluffy woolly coats as they say a big hello. And already you feel so relaxed since their welcoming fluffiness feels surprisingly warm and peaceful. And you may think this sheepish greeting is a little strange and quite unexpected. But as you reach out and pat their softest wool, you feel instantly so calm, so safe, and so happy to have these three fluffy new friends at your side. And suddenly, the three sheep start to race and run so very fast across this meadow. Which surprises you again because you didn't know sheep could move this quickly. And now you're running to catch up, feeling so delighted to discover where your new farm friends might be leading you. Because you can see that Shelby the sheep just loves to roam about freely and to prance and skip over the green rolling hills. And she giggles as she prances because it feels so fun, like a confident little dance. And so you start to feel you have this lovely freedom to prance about a little too. As Shane and Shiloh clap their hooves, it's so funny to see as you all prance about to the hoof hoof beat. And the sheep even start to sing along in their sheepish way, with funny sounds of bleating and barring echoing out under the open, starry sky above. You all prance and dance all the way over to the fence. And you just love how it makes you feel so free, so happy and so peaceful. So calm as you just relax. 
Now Shelby, being the most creative sheep, just loves to count down from 10 to 1. As you watch the sheep begin to go leaping over the fence. And tonight, you are welcome to join them too. As if you're all in a dream. A beautiful, relaxing, calming sleep dream of falling asleep counting sheep. So together, you keep count of the jumping sheep, jumping over the fence, as you all bound and leap, being careful not to fall too fast asleep. Counting the number 10, as Shelby jumps up and over the fence, and nine, you see Shane leaps over so high. Eight, you see Shiloh bounds above. Seven, now you jump the fence too and you feel like a superstar sheep. And six, Shelby prances over the fence again. Five, Shane hops so high. Four, Shiloh flips over the fence with happy ease. Three, and now you prance high over the fence again, feeling the fresh, healthy air rushing through your hair. And two, Shelby glides over. And you're getting a little tired watching all this sheepish jumping. And now one. Together you all do one great big grand leap over the fence at the same time. Jumping so high into the air. You're all tumbling and tumbling through the silver sky, as if now in super slow motion. It's just like time is slowing and standing still. As you look at Shelby, Shane and Shiloh, with their funny twiggy little legs and their round puffy bodies, and their smiling faces, they look so funny gliding so dreamily through the air. Until you all fall in a gentle heap of fluffy, fluffiest sheep. And you laugh and laugh and roll about over these green, relaxing, sleepy, rolling hills. And now you rest back so deeply, just resting back as you relax in the tufts of soft grass. As you all look upwards at the star-spangled nighttime sky. And you are realizing now that you can see so clearly the endless stars up there above. So many of them shining so brightly and so beautifully. Because it's safe, calm and so tranquil out here in the open countryside. And Shelby points her hoof up at the sky, showing you where the Milky Way galaxy lies. Just glittering and shining so beautifully. Wow.
And suddenly you see a dazzle of light flying across the velvety stretch of night. And Shelby tells you this is a special time for quiet stargazing. And counting down ten shooting stars can be truly amazing. Even as you're growing sleepier and sleepier, you're loving to relax so very well. And when you get to one, you know you can make a special wish. Thinking of something very special with all of your heart. Something you'd very much love to come true. So now, counting from ten, you're feeling such magical enchantment in your chest as you see a stunning shooting star. And nine, there's another dazzle of streaks across the sky, another star flying so high. And eight, you see a moving star dances across the darkness above. And seven, you see another shooting star out of the corner of your eye. Six, well this really is the best place to view the whole beautiful universe as you start to think and imagine your special wish. And five, Shelby points her hoof to show you another cosmic flying star. And four, Shane spots the next one sinking deeper and deeper through the sky. Three, Shiloh whispers something to you as she sees a streak of enchanting starlight just fading out from view. Two, feeling so dreamy now, so sleepy, you're relaxing so deeply with all of these enchanting stars. And now one, you spot an extra bright and extra amazing shooting star, as you right now make your special wish with all of your heart. And you're feeling so loved and so grateful here, just to be here, just to be in this wide open field under the most radiant calming sky with your new fluffy and fun friends, feeling so happy and so good. And in the soft light of the sinking moon, and in the shimmering starlight of total rest, you're now looking for and imagining even greener, softer pastures. Because sometimes looking over the fence, it's easy for the sheep to think the grass is greener on the other side. Yet sometimes it's just as nice to simply be. To be here where you are. And so you all drift about 
looking closely at the dewiness of this soft grass, inspecting the clusters of daisies, and gazing carefully at which exact shade of green this sleepy, peaceful meadow is. And just when the grass looks a little greener, and it feels a little softer, you all realise with a smile, the grass of the sheep's very own paddock is just as fresh, just as dewy, and just as green as they had hoped for. In fact, you all look back at the other side of the fence to Yornsworth's farm. And now those beautiful, homely, familiar pastures appear so inviting. They look to be so perfectly green and maybe even a touch greener. Hmm. So you and your sheep friends decide to appreciate what you already have. To be so grateful for where you already live as you see how very green your own pasture truly is. And whilst you feel it is so much fun to explore, all together now you remember there's really no place like home. So all together, you and your fluffy sheep friends just run and jump and tumble back over the fence, so high in the air, it feels like you are floating and flying, before landing so safely and softly back on the softest, soft green grass of the sleepy, yawny farm. And now you see Shelby yawning and yawning. And you see Shane's eyelids drooping to a close. And you even see Shiloh's head nodding down. And so you know and you feel it is the perfect time now for a perfect sleep. And you follow your friends into the cosy sheep barn feeling so warm and so safe, so protected here from the outside breeze. You're hearing the soft, quiet sounds of the rest of the flock sleeping here too. Hearing their sleepy sighing and their deep, sheepy breathing. These sheep are dozing and slumbering so very deeply. And in the glow of the moonlight, you can see the fresh hay laid by Farmer Yawnsworth with such care for the cosy comfort of his sleeping flock.
and this soft hay looks so inviting to you now because you really are so very tired and if you're not already simply faded and drifted off into sleep you now feel yourself curling up between the fluffy woolen coats of your kind-hearted sheep friends. Nestling in for your perfect, cosy night's rest. So now together with Shelby the sheep, you continue counting backwards from 10 down to 1 as you drift and dream and float away into your happiest deep sleep starting at 10 feeling asleep now in this cozy barn 9 feeling fresh hay cushioning you softly like a rug of fluffy comfort. 8. Hearing sheepish snoozing all around you. 7. Feeling so happy in your heart. 6. Breathing deeper and deeper now as your belly relaxes. Five. Feeling so peaceful here, knowing you were drifting into sleep. Four. Counting backwards is carrying you off into droopy, drowsy, dreamy sleep. Three, this is all becoming just a beautiful, sleepy dream. And two, feeling so relaxed, so cozy, so snug, so perfectly happy. And one, falling asleep now. You're drifting deeper and deeper into your loveliest, most wonderful, dreamiest, deepest, sheepiest sleep. Sweet, sheepish dreams.